Okay, so uh, the artifact calculator is out. Uh, there's a link on this on uh, MMO Champion. Doesn't have everything, doesn't have every spec uh, on Paladin here. Obviously, I'm going to go straight to Ashbringer. Doesn't have the protection uh, tree. It does have one for healer, though. Um, uh, and we can have a look at some of these as well. The Death Knight sort of uh, is there in, in all its misplaced glory. But if I just go back to this, there's a there's a few things about these we still don't know. We might Some people might be making assumptions. Some of those assumptions may be correct. Some may not. Now, the first thing to note is this has changed since the... Um, slide we were shown at BlizzCon. Now bear in mind of course any slides that were prepared for BlizzCon might themselves have been quite old anyway just to show the general gist of it but we sort of know we're going to get one of these major ones uh, which is shown here <clears throat> very early on in fact I think they said pretty much straight away so as we're leveling we can expect to be able to tick one of these but and it sort of follows a path so for example if I sort of highlight this one I go for this one we can see that I can get access to this I can't just go straight to this it's letting me do it but I'm sure that's not intended uh, we have to sort of follow a path now the first thing to bear in mind when we're picking which where we where we go it's not just a case of picking which talent or which trait looks like it might be best for us in itself but which path now by the time um, <clears throat> The Legion rolls around. I'm sure there will have been so much testing on this. Uh, we'll know how long it will take for us uh, to get to certain parts of the, the, the tree. But there are a few things we don't know. Um, <clears throat> we don't know if we get to pick whichever of these we start with. Uh, on this particular weapon, they're all shown at extremities. We've got two here on the hilt and one on the, uh, well, I suppose what would be near the point of the blade. Except this has got loads of points on it. If we look at the holy one, uh, it's a little different though. We've got two on the inside and then one there. Um, so they all look very different. So I don't know exactly how we'll get to start off. And as I say, the other thing is if we compare this to the image we got at BlizzCon, we can see it sort of looked like where you'd start because this talent was just up over here and it looked like you had to start with that. But of course, that's that's perhaps a, an, an assumption I made that is, that is incorrect. <coughs> um... The other thing we don't necessarily know about, it's been assumed by some people, may be correct, may not be, because Blizzard have said we'll eventually get to unlock all of these traits, some people think that there will come a time when we get the whole thing filled in and we just get all of them. Now maybe this is true and maybe it's not. It may just mean that we get to unlock them so we have access to them, but we still only get to spend so many points because you see some of these you spend one point and you get it. Some of them you spend a bit more. Um, is that the case? I don't know. Uh, I don't know that either. If it if it is the case that you can only pick so many, because the curious thing is they also said, because the question was asked, can you re-specialize? Let's say you go down a particular path and then you change your mind. They have said, yes, you will be able to re-specialize, but there will be a cost well, if you get them all filled up eventually anyway, that cost becomes irrelevant because you get access to them all. At the same time, what is there? Um, if you only ever get to say, let's say you get to spend 15 points or something like that, just for the sake of argument. There, but there's a cost to doing it. So it's not like you can just change these between boss fights in the same way you can the normal talents. So if there's a an ability, for example, here. Okay, this is just... You're only spending one on it. But this is something that... This is our AOE ability for Retribution Paladins. And uh, obviously that's going to be useful on some fights. Totally useless on others because you'll never even use that ability. So, hmm. Um, I mean, I, I, there'll be ones on here that are strange as well. There are some odd ones as well. Increase the damage of your death and decay by 10,000%. I suspect that's not true. <laughs> How does he go up to? Oh, 20,000%. Hmm, yes. I don't think that's quite right. There are a few mistakes. And we know there are a few mistakes on it. I mean, going back to Retribution here. Uh, has an ability here. This is just a tool tip tidying up. Reduces Hand of Protection by 20 seconds. The cooldown on it. There is no such spell as Hand of Protection anymore. They're calling it Blessing Protection again. So there's a lot of things to be tidied up in here. Um, and, and changed. So again, the individual abilities. We're probably just looking at 
the general gist of what they do. So if we were looking at this, we'd just say, okay, it's something that increases the damage of our death and decay. Uh, that's probably supposed to read 10% or something. Um, and then we've got this huge one here, this major one here. Um, and we have that on all of them too. So let's just have a look. So if we take Warrior 1, for example, uh, and the Protection 1. So this is the, the, the Sword and Shield here. Again, not all of these sort of ones with the dragon, the elite type dragon glyph, are all on the extremities. So, I mean, or but can you still start from here? Does is there anything to stop us starting from here? Do we just start with one of these, uh, and then that picks our path? In which case, as I say, you need to think to yourself, not just which of these three sound the most awesome, because I'm going to get these probably when I'm level 100 or level 101 or something. But thinking a bit further into the future, you know, which path... Because if this is, like, the best one, but this is shit, and this is shit, and these are shit, but this is awesome. So in actual fact, you'd want to start off with this one, to get to this one as quickly as possible. Because uh, what matters, especially if you're going into raiding, is how many of these can you have activated when you go into the first raid to get into that progress uh, thing. That will be what is of prime importance to begin with. And again, I'm, that will probably come out uh, during the beta. As more people test these things, they can work out realistically how much we can get in two weeks. Because you probably, uh, I think it's going to be two weeks before we, we start the raiding. For those of us who are doing raiding. Um, but, but have a look at these yourself. As I say, they're not all on. Uh, but there are quite a lot of them seem to be on. And... Uh, See what you think to yourself for your own class. I'm going to do a video specifically on the Retribution Paladin ones. Back to the old Ashbringer uh, after this. Uh, but until then, have a good time.